famous accountants in Bushwick. And we're talking about a show curated by this gentleman, William Pappenheimer, right? Uh, good pronunciation. <laughs> Tell us about the show. The show is titled Tunneling. And you create, curated the show. I did. Why don't you uh, give us a brief uh, tour and maybe some of the highlights. Okay, you got it. Well, the show kind of started from, probably from my past experience, um, which, you know, kind of talks to the kind of psychedelic era of the 60s. But it uh, expands outwards from, say, something like, you know, a hallucinogenic experience to all kinds of tunnels, the underground, the myopic tunnel, in terms of tunneling, the psychic tunnel, if you will. Um, so what I did is, um, knowing a group of artists and searching around for a group of artists, I um, picked out ones that I felt expanded that those concepts in different directions. Um, what could I show you to start with? Well, let's look at the piece of the stretched out writer. I was, uh, I was intrigued with this piece. Yes. Um, this is Luke Murphy's. Uh, Luke one Murphy. Of two pieces of Luke Murphy's work. Um, and what this is, it, is it, it's, uh, is it uh, Pinkham Rider's um, Last Death Ride. on a Pale Horse. That's it. And it is stretched out a mile long with its pixels. So he actually measured the monitor here and then stretched out the whole image. And then the speed with which this monitor follows it to the moment of death is the speed of secretary at the fastest race horse. Okay, so we're talking about 50 seconds or something from one end to the yeah, other? Yes. I forgot what the exact amount is. Now, how and about it, this piece right yeah. here? I also thought this was a pretty interesting piece. It's dealing with radioactivity. We've got a Geiger counter. Right, right. Who is this by? This is also Luke's. This is also and, Luke's. And, and it, what's happening here is a very simple old Geiger counter is measuring and taking bleeps from uh, um, uh, carnival wear and from uranium glass and it is driving dice down a tunnel so it rotates the dice and the dice rotate at random levels and he's very into the idea of random um, and chance how random and opportunities okay. exactly I was also very intrigued with these pieces yeah. um, and this is Meg Hitch Hitchcock's work Meg Hitchcock. which um, is, is these kinds of um, very obsessive collages, all made out of single letters of text, but then she puts them together. Exactly, and, exactly. And these are poems or parts of books or... They're, they're often one religious or religious text cut up hand by hand and refigured to spell out... You can step on BP if you want. <laughs> <laughs> and reconfigured to spell another text. Okay, and sometimes the text changes in the middle in midstream, and then they take their own form and so on. So this fit the whole idea of the kind of religious tunnel, the religious. Now, how about the uh, was it a the DP here? Mark, come on. This is actually iPod the artist app? is here. Oh, this, this is, is the, the artist. artist. This is Mark. Uh, All right, Mark, get over here, do your stuff. We got to okay. see the app. You come here. So I've got to come here. Yeah. Okay. We've got augmented reality. Basically, we're doing um, logo hacking. Um, so what you're seeing, logo packing or hacking, hacking. Oh, right. hacking. Okay. So basically, we're using a corporate icon um, to generate uh, the leak that you would see. So you've built an app on your phone, and as soon as it bumps onto a BP logo you get this image of the oil gusher, the oil yes. blowout. You, and that would do with any, any BP logo that you saw if you were walking down the street and happened to see one and write, had one in a book or something, you'd flip that on and would also start to activate this. This version does not do that. We have a version coming out which will do that. Where you see the black mark around the and, outside. And I can, right. I can actually walk around the oil still here, put it up. Oh, that's great, okay. And I can walk around the oil still and come back. It's in, it's in 3D, so you have the pipes which are actually going into the wall. All right, very cool. This is Cooper Halawaski's work, um, who does 
um, a series of videos here, and you can't hear the text here, but the text is this, almost this religious figure sort of predicting the way things will be, the way things will end. It's, it's kind of actually morose. It, so we were talking about yeah. new media. Yeah. I mean, a lot of it, it's true, some, uh, some of this work is produced through a process, let's say, that would involve the computer, or let's say it's, you know, it, it has a numeric generation. Digital. Or, yeah, a digital origin. origin. And, but what I wanted to do in this exhibition was to have you cross media, if you will, um, and show how it's got its relationships to any media to traditional media. Etc. But there's also an aspect of the, the way that the computer kind of repeats patterns and a sort of obsessive personality qualities of some yeah. of the work. Absolutely. This is um, Takaji um, uh, Kojo's work from Japan. And what's really neat about this is the way he starts with these um, sort of vignette moments, these very ordinary moments from people all around the world. And then the image kind of slowly zooms out into a kaleidoscopic. Right, and starts to yeah, break down and yeah. be repeated and flipped and yeah. doubled and quadrupled yeah. and tripled. And then you zoom back in. But you're right in the sense of the new media idea, in the sense that this is something that, that is really quite easy to do with new media and on a new to media image. How about um, this sculptural piece here? Yeah, this is really great. Um, this is Irvin Marazin's work, um, and it's actually the remnants of a performance he did on the opening night um, called The Death of the Ghetto Blaster. And he actually makes these um, almost Aztec um, headdresses, which he wears. How about these uh, cut paper? I assume this is, or is this plastic? Yes. Um, this is Susanna Starr's work, uh, just wonderful work. I met her in the last year or so. And she cuts out these layers of uh, mylar, it's probably mylar or something like that, and then rubs paint over it. Um, and so you see through, through the different layers and you know it becomes this optical, this changing optical um, you know, image that is layered and strange and you don't know what your, I suppose you don't know what your position is. Let's and wrap, kind of let's wrap up with these. It looks yeah. like, uh, yeah, parachutes? I don't know. Very good. Very good. Um, this is Jen uh, Schwarting's work um, and she's done this kind of series which she told me was inspired by parachutes and in fact by parachutes, the idea of parachuting around 9-1-1, parachuting off buildings. Ah. And she talks a little bit about safety nets, um, parachutes being safety nets. So it, you know, it functions as an abstraction and then and an optical image here at the same time as it functions as some kind of um, reference to you know how you would be stay safe or you know and she even relates it to, to companies and their promotions for health care and so on. Okay well wonderful thanks William You're welcome. Peppenheimer curator of tunneling here at famous accountants out in Bushwick Thank you. You got it. And Thanks, Kate. <laughs>